Hey everyone, welcome to Red Men TV. It was Liverpool 3. It was Leicester City 1. I've got the boy with me, hi Jack. Say hi. Hello. There we go. Um, battered them. Absolutely battered them. Can't stand Leicester. Cannot stand them. Uh, they're in the Championship. Everyone should be glad about that. I hope they stay down there uh, and they're knocked out the AFL Cup. And rightly and ultimately easily so. And look, obviously Liverpool got to go down. It's the only thing they do all game long. The literal only thing that Leicester do. Um, but even during the first half, when you, Liverpool are a goal down, they batter them. They absolutely batter them. They play them off the park. Right, the music is going to get this copyright stuck, so I'm going to take this outside. Yeah, so look, the reality was Liverpool battered them from start to finish. Look at the half-time numbers, shots, possession, everything. Liverpool absolutely dominated them. Um, and it's mad that we didn't manage to score so many mad opportunities. None of the day, just, just go in. That wasn't a 3-1 game, that was a 6-7-1 or seven, one game. Let's be perfectly honest, and look, I'm not going to take their goal away from them, but how Harvey Elliott doesn't score a goal on the night, I have got no idea whatsoever. The one right there, he goes down on his haunches, because he's just like... There's one where he should shoot a little bit earlier, right toward the end of the game, he should shoot, he should get his goal, but he, he just holds on a little bit too long, and that's, he'll regret that, he will. And then he gets the one later on, and look, sometimes when your luck's not in, your luck's not in. Um, but I thought Harvey Elliott was magnificent all game long. You know, he's playing against the, you know, there's some experience players in that, in that Leicester team, you know, they are, they're expected to be championship contenders this season. And Harvey Elliott is a lad who had a fantastic season in the Championship a couple of years ago. He's been in and out the Liverpool side. Right now he's in the second the second string Liverpool team, he's starting those games. He looks too good to be in that team. He really, really does. And that's the, the level, the measure of the quality that Liverpool have got. Curtis Jones, really good performance tonight, playing right back. Very impressed by how he how he handled himself, even in the defensive situations. Um, I liked Pachetic again coming on. I think we're obviously being careful with him, um, but I want to see more of Stefan Pachetic, obviously. To one really good bit of tracking back. Ibu got all the praise from the crowd, but it was Pachetic's twitch that took it away on the counter attack again toward the back end of the game. But it would have made it closer than it maybe it should have been. Really, really switched on from Stefan, so really good. Um, and though more minutes under his belt, I'm not really sure. There he is. Uh, I'm not really sure what to expect from Mataro. End up, but more minutes is not going to do him any harm. But I can understand from watching his performance why Alexis McAllis is playing the six fours. He doesn't scan right for me, so when he receives the ball, he looks what he's doing next. Whereas McAllister knows what he's going to be doing before he receives the ball. So, um, so that was it. But ultimately, it, in fact, a good, a good solid performance. Made some good tackles. Gets booked for being a little bit too physical. Fine, 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 fine. Um, Darwin Nunes off the bench, great to see him. Uh, but I want to talk about um, Dominic Sobber's like Shop Power 99. Um, there's an old school Pro Evo reference for all the young kids. Um, foot like a traction engine, what an absolute star. And I, look, it's going to start being the Dominic Sobber's like match reactions because that's how good he is. We've bought a complete footballer, and you know, the guys around me were saying at the game of the weekend going to get one of them shots sooner or later someone's going to get out of his way I think I said it on this week's podcast um, finally it happened and oh my god an absolute thunder bastard into the top corner unbelievable and it's about time it was always going to it was always going to come and tonight was the night but yeah ultimately a brilliant performance from the Reds tonight from start to finish really apart from their goal but listen they'll be staying the tests Liverpool I've got a very good chance of competing in most of these other competitions domestic cups and the Europa League because if we can put out a side like that heavily rotated but still have that much quality and keep that much quality in reserve then we're going to have a very very good season I feel so anyway yeah in your face Leicester hate you uh, but I love Liverpool I love every performance from everyone Quanta wonderful passing ability on the show tonight great to see you again playing football for us Cody Gap but great. we've just got a great squad and I really like them and that bodes very very well for the uh, short, medium and long term of this football team anyway drop a like uh, if you want to check my match vlog out a little short one tough the lads with me he's, uh, he's uh, are you happy? Yeah. what goal do you remember? Um, the the best one the um... the one he smacked it in yeah yeah he absolutely belted that one didn't he? yeah yeah absolutely it was a thunder bastard. 
And then the guy who got hit in the chest. Yeah, absolutely. Quality. The second time. The second, yeah. Right, drop a like. Uh, subscribe to RedmanPlus.com if you want the player ratings uh, podcast and the Instant Match Reaction podcast. Uh, and also just subscribe to the YouTube channel because that is cool. Anyway, thank you. Up the Reds. Bye.